Hey guys, today we're doing a MacBook Pro hard drive install in 2006 to 2008 models. What you're going to need is you're going to need a Torx 6 screwdriver, a small screwdriver, as well as an ice cube tray to probably keep all your screws in. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's get started. So first we're just going to take out the battery. Then we're going to go ahead and use our small screwdriver to take out these three or four screws and move this faceplate right out of the way. Next you're going to take out the four screws right on the back. Go ahead and switch to your Torx screwdriver and take out these two screws. Now you're going to take out the 10 screws around the sides and the back. Be careful because the screws on the back are actually different sizes than the screws around the sides, so put them in a separate bin. The next two screws a lot of people actually forget about. As you can see, they're located at the base of where the battery actually sits. Now that we actually have all the screws out, we're going to go ahead and lift this up. Make sure you lift up from where the uh, screen touches it and pull forward. You're going to hear some loud clicking noises, but that's okay. Just go ahead and pull it all the way forward. But you also need to be careful for the cable in the back, which is where the keyboard connects to the logic board. So don't yank that out. Go ahead and reach your hand back and pull that out with your hand. So now we're going to take this cable off of the hard drive. It's stuck with a little adhesive, so just go ahead and pry it up. If you don't have enough room, you can easily unplug these cables where my black stick is with your fingernails. Now you're going to use your Torx screwdriver again to take out the two cables which hold the bracket down. When you're done with this, you can go ahead and take the bracket out and then start pulling your hard drive out, disconnecting it from the SATA cable. Now all you got to do is switch the little feet on each side of the hard drive onto your new hard drive and then reverse this process by putting it all the way back in. The first thing you need to watch out for is these little metal pins at the very front of the top case. These things get bent very easily and can be very annoying. What you should do is just use your screwdriver, tilt them back in place, and make sure that they're in the right slot at the front of the case. There are also metal pieces on each side, which is what you screw into, and those can get bent really easily or caught on the top, so make sure that, that those are bent in and are able to slide right into the case. Don't forget to plug this cable back in because otherwise when you're finished screwing it all back together your keyboard's not going to work. Lastly, and this may seem silly but I've seen many people do it, is they accidentally put screws into the holes right next to the DVI slot. Make sure you don't put screws into these holes because it's really hard to get out and can get really frustrating really fast. So make sure you stay away from that. Thank you for watching. Feel free to go ahead and check out the rest of our blog and email us at help at uncovertech.com if you have any questions.